In a previous video, I backed up data to an Azure Cloud Storage device that I created in a separate video. So you can check out those videos in the playlist so you can see how I got that far. Now I'm going to show you how to restore from the Backup Exec program using Azure's storage. Now, right now I'm in the Azure Storage Explorer, which basically tells me from this blob container that there is Backup Exec data in it. So when I go to restore, I know I've got data that I can restore from. So I'm going to go back into Backup Exec, and we can see under Storage, my Azure Storage is online and ready to do a restoration. I'm going to go back to Backup and Restore, and then I'm going to click on Restore Backup Sets created by this job. So I need to make sure that I'm highlighting the job from which I want to restore, and then click on the Restore button. And we'll get a new wizard that pops up and it'll allow me to restore anything from which I had backed up earlier. So I'm gonna choose the uh, file and folder backups to a point in time. Uh, I could choose a backup set if I was going to restore from an, an entire volume, for instance, but the point in time makes more sense if I'm just picking out a specific file or folder. And I'm going to expand, and it shows me the folders that I had backed up. Now, in that inside there is a folder called Test1. So I'm going to go into File Explorer and delete that folder. So that way I can show you that it does successfully restore. So that was inside my INET Pub folder. And there's Test1. So I'll delete that. And now that's gone. Now I'm going to choose to restore that folder. Click Next. I can choose to the original location or to a different one. I'm going to choose the original. And I can choose to overwrite if that file is actually on there and it's older. And since I already deleted it, that doesn't matter. If I had a disk quota going, then I would want to check that box just to make sure that quota stays active. The rest of the defaults are fine. I don't need to run a command before or after the restore. And I'm going to choose to run it now. Now I'm going to finish. And there's my restore job starting, and it may take a minute or two to get started because it's got to connect to a cloud storage device. I can double click on the job and look at more details about what's happening once it starts restoring any files or folders. And the restoration happened so quickly I didn't get a chance to really see those get restored, but that's okay. Let's just make sure that the file is now there, or the folder is now there. And there it is, there's my test one folder. It was successfully restored. So that is how we restore from an Azure Cloud Backup in Backup Exec 21, and it also works on Backup 20.